Indian equity market's performance in summer 2078 is poised to be the worst in seven years, with a near 2% slide each in benchmark Sensex and Nifty indices. This comes after summer 2071, when the two frontline indices had dropped 4% and 3% respectively. Analysts attribute the dismal performance in summer 2078 to the geopolitical tensions that led to spiraling inflation and hawkish action from global central banks, especially the US Federal Reserve. Uh, the Ukraine war, which started in February, was unexpected. And despite rate hike and uh, global slowdown, the OPEC and Russia joined effort to cut the oil also unexpected. What was expected was a stimulus post corona. $20 trillion of uh, stimulus all over the world that led to the inflation. But these two unexpected factors crashed the market from the peak and therefore both Sensex and small cap, we are almost flat in the current uh, summer year. Unexpectedly, Ukraine thing happened. Uh, similar thing uh, happens in Taiwan or Russia and uh, OPEC. Whatever happens to their economy, not bother about their economic uh, conditions and continue to cut down the oil price, then yes, uh, what we saw this year can be repeated next year. But otherwise, I am very bullish. Uh, minimum 15% return one can expect. The underperformance in summer 2078 was sharper in the broader markets, especially in the BSE mid-cap index, which lost 3%. However, among stocks, defence PSUs, along with Adani and Tata Group shares, firmly defied the weak broader market. Around 207 scripts outperformed the index in summer 2078, of which 143 stocks gained over 10%. Moreover, Adani Power, Adani Total Gas, Adani Enterprises and Defence PSUs, Bharat Dynamics and Mazagon Dock shipbuilders saw their market price more than double during summer 2078. Nifty Majors ITC and Mahindra and Mahindra, meanwhile, surged 54% and 48% respectively. From sectors, the power pack gained the most, followed by capital goods, FMCG and automobiles. On the flip side, realty, IT, metal, healthcare and consumer durables were the top laggards. Going forward, experts are betting on select pockets along with small cap stocks that maintained a lead over frontline indices in somewhat 2078 with a 1% gain. One should avoid uh, cement steel, uh, but one should be bullish on uh, telecom. Uh, definitely the private banks, also even the public sector banks. So these are the two top most and the selective pharma stocks. These are the three sectors which should do well. Uh, it will be again in the small cap. Uh, it, there is going to be a massive wealth creation in the small cap in the next one year. That said, analysts caution against the near-term texture of the market, which is likely to remain volatile. As per HSBC Global, the US Fed's continued hawkish stance Rising dollar and the prospect of recession in the US and Eurozone paint a negative outlook for equities in the near term. While India may not be immune to such risk aversion, we see several positives too and would view market volatility as a good buying opportunity in structurally winning businesses. That said, global trends will guide the markets today. The queue to earnings of index majors, Reliance Industries, Hindustan Unilever, Bajaj Finserv and Ambuja Cement will also be on the street's radar. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.